All right. Welcome everyone. My name is Dwight Duffy and in this tutorial I'm going to go through the steps required to decode a UPC or Universal Product Code barcode. What we want to do is we want to take the barcode and deconstruct it into its decimal equivalent or those numbers that you would expect to see printed under the barcode. Uh, sometimes when a barcode is not able to be scanned the cashier or uh, the person at the cash register will type in the number that's printed on the barcode. Um, I've taken the number off here so we're not distracted and we're going to go through the steps that the computer actually goes through uh, in uh, making the determination of what each um, set of bars translates into in terms of the decimal value that we would expect to be printed underneath the barcode. Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole barcode as this is actually a solution to a, a problem for some of you, uh, but we'll go through the first half of it and it should be plenty to get you started um, in, in being able to decode the rest of the barcode. So what we want to do is try to take away the mystery here um, and really show how straightforward and easy uh, decoding the barcode uh, actually is. So. The hard work, the heavy lifting, is all uh, in the, um, the cheat sheet that's here on the right side, uh, the, what you see in blue. Uh, and there's a, a set of bar widths that are represented by numbers 1, 2, 3, or 4. And the thing to notice about these numbers, uh, very interesting, is these values all add up to 7. So 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 is 7. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 7, uh, and so on. The other thing to notice is that these codes are unique right to left and left to right. In other words, you don't see the same pattern whether you're reading these numbers from right to left or left to right. Uh, this allows the barcode to actually be scanned from right to left or from left to right. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, first thing that we want to do is note that a UPC barcode has some guard patterns and I'm just going to kind of highlight or note these. It's like a 101 um, black, white, black. And then here in the middle, we also have a black, I'm sorry, a white, black, white, black, white uh, code. So kind of a 01010. And then at the end, we have a, a another 101. So the computer will use these guard patterns on the left and the right and the center uh, to sort of calibrate the barcode to let the computer know how wide a single bar is and how wide a single space is. Based on those widths, the computer is going to make a calculation or a determination as to what is the relative width of the remaining bars um, on the barcode. So just kind of peeking over here and I'm going to pick a different color. There is a relative width to this white, black, white, black here. White, black, white, black. And all we have to do is determine what is the relative width right, of those <clears throat> patterns as it relates to these numbers over here and keeping in mind that it should add up to 7. So I've got something, something, 1, 1. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that this is a 3 white and then a 2 and I could be wrong about that. Uh, I'm going to go with a 3, a 2, and a 1, and a 1. <clears throat> so 3, 2, 1, 1. 3, 2, 1, 1 is a 0. So the first value uh, I'm going to propose is a 0. And I'm just going to, I guess, type in a 0 here. And we're going to go to the next pattern. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick a different color, maybe the orange here. Uh, remember, we're going white, black, white, black, and then we're just going to continue on. Um, grab my brush here. White, black, white, black. <coughs> Clearly, it's a 1, and then I'd say a 2. And then I'd say a 3 and a 1. Does a 1, a 2, a 3, and a 1 add up to 7? A 1, a 2, there it is, and a 3, and a 1. So that's a 5 based on relative width of a 1, a 2, a 3, and a 1. 
one, two, three, one. There's only one pattern over here that will fit. So I'm going to go ahead and for this one, we'll type in a five. All right, moving on, I'm going to go with pink this time. Equal opportunity colors here. And again, white, black, white, black. And it looks to me like a two, and then a one, and then a two. So two, one, two is two, three, four, five. And then the remaining black would be another two. So two, one, two, two. Two, one, two, two, which is the number what? If we look up here, whoa. That's not what I wanted to do, really. If I look right here, right? Two one two two is the number two. All right, so let's do just a couple more. So I'm going to put in a two here. And what's going to happen next in this barcode, if you look carefully, is you'll actually see that this pattern kind of repeats. It actually repeats three times. Um, I'm going to grab the green here and I'm just going to see if we can point out that repeating pattern. So I've got, it looks like a something, I'm going to say a 2-2, two, two. Well, maybe a 3-2, three, two. a 3-2 three, two, and a 1-1. One, one. And the reason I kind of changed my mind on that uh, first one is because it has to add up to 7 and clearly the white's whiter than the, the black. So 3-2 is 5, 6, Seven. So three two one one. If I come up here, three two one one is a zero again. And if you look, that same pattern is is repeated again. Three, two, one, one, and then again. Three, two, one, one. And that takes us right up to the white, black, white, black, white guard pattern that's in the middle. So this is actually three zeros. We're going to actually, so there's a zero and a zero and a zero. Now on the, and again, I don't want to do the whole problem, but on the right side of the barcode, we're going to actually start with a black bar instead of with a white space as we read from right to left. Or if the barcode were reading from right to left, there would be a white and then a black and a white and a black. So I would need to start with a black bar here and I'll start again with the, the light blue. <coughs> Except this time I'm going to start with the black bar. And I got something interesting here. It's black and it looks like it's really wide, right? So that's probably a four in a one, in a one. Uh, so it's a one, four, one, one, right? Obviously, we've got the, so one, four, one, one. So one, four, one, one is a three. All right, so that I would just continue on. Um, you get to the place where you could almost sort of read this um, just by looking at it. Four, it looks like another four, one, one, one here. Four again, and then one, 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 which equals seven. Um, and so on and so forth all the way across until you get right to the guard pattern that's over here. Then simply take that code that you come up with, type it into Google, just type it in straight away into a Google search engine. Uh, it should come up, in this case, it'll come up with a, um, a sports drink um, and you'll know what I was drinking um, when I um, came up with this lab. All right, so uh, hopefully that's helpful in um, understanding how the computer decodes a UPC barcode. All right, that concludes this tutorial.